here are the upcoming Tomica release for the month of July. For the Red Box series, we have the pair of number 8 Toyota Race. This is a new tooling available in regular and first color. Features include standard suspension with opening rear door, which is great. What's included is the number 87 Toyota Supra, Fuji Speedway safety car. The GR Supra has made several appearances, and being a safety car is quite unique. Standard suspension for the Supra with no opening features. For the Tomica world, we have the Tomica DX Police Station. This is a play set, which is not in my focus. What I'm more interested is the police carrier car set, which are able to transport up to 4 Tomica castings in 2 levels. The carrier car also have movable features, such as mounted gate and on level 2. Castings include the Tomica GR Supra, also a high-speed police car with a standard suspension without any opening features. The Subaru Forester with the Tomica police marking unique to the set. The Suzuki Hustler with the Tomica police team. And also the UD truck that's exclusive to this police car carrier set. What I'm very excited is the Tomica Premium number 17, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, also known as the Camry. I have been waiting for the Camry for the longest time and finally it's released into the Tomica Premium Series. The Camry itself comes in an iconic silver color and this will definitely pass very well with the Hakos car. Features includes opening door with a standard suspension which is great. Tomica Premium is definitely one of the series that every collector should collect. Next, the Tomica and Demon Slayer Volume 2 collab. After the successful release for Volume 1, Tomica announced the Volume 2 series, which comprises of the Pillars in the Demon Slayer Corps. The Pillars only make very brief appearance in Season 1. Members include Giyu Tomioka, who is the Water Pillar. The casting that represents this character is the Toyota GR Supra. So 3 GR Supra for the month of July. What I really like is the livery that reflects the character, which is the outfit. The next character is Shinobu Kochio, who is the inset pillow. The casting that reflects the character is the Subaru 360. It's looking very beautiful, very girlish. And I believe this casting will sit very well with many collectors. The next character is Kyojuro Rengoku, who is the flame pillow. He's one of the main characters in the Demon Slayer series. I believe we'll see more of him in Season 2. The casting that reflects the character is the GTR Nismo 2020 model, which is very awesome. Next character is Mochiro Tokiko, who is the Miss Pillow. Casting that reflects the character is the Suzuki Special Gear. I like the color scheme and I think it's really dynamic. And the last character is Gyume Himijima, who is the Stone Pillar. I believe we will see more of this character in Season 2. And casting that reflects this character is the Toyota Land Cruiser, which is one of my favorite. The last in the line is the Toyota e Palette, and it's looking very futuristic. I believe this will come in a square box packaging, and I'm looking forward for Tomica July release. The Tomica website will update periodically, and I'll be the first to share with everyone in this page. Stay tuned for more Tomica updates, and remember to like, share, and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone! Bye!